All right, everybody, this is uh, Jerry here, and I just wanted to go over the aviation maintenance science uh, tools, the general kit to start off with, and these are the snap-on tools. And here's a student handbook for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and in Daytona Beach. It's my uh, first video, so make sure to cut me some slack. But uh, this can be found online, and I'll link this in the description. Uh, what we have here is all the rules and regulations and some, some guidelines for the AMS program. Uh, what we're mainly looking for here is the general toolkit and the advanced toolkit uh, section of the booklet. And also, uh, we can look at the AMS 116 tool list down here. Uh, so these are all the requirements for the general toolkit. And this is the general toolkit with the snap-on uh, toolkit from the bookstore at uh, Daytona Beach um, Embry-Riddle campus. And you can buy these. Uh, I believe this one was right around $1,200 uh, for the kit or so, not including tax. And uh, those should be available there. So what we're going to look at first is this side here. We're going to go through and check off and make sure we have everything in the box. I have not opened this box yet, so I guess we could call this an unboxing video. So I did already uh, mostly assemble a toolkit of my own tools, uh, but I decided to maybe go ahead and purchase this, see what was in it, do an unboxing video because there's very few videos online for anything. So I'm going to go ahead, cut the seal here. And I may just keep this kit and sell my kit um, to somebody else that doesn't want to pay as much money. Be careful not to cut anything. Not sure if anything's near the top there. Let's see here. All right. Thank you message from Snap-on. Looks like right off the bat we have some packing paper and a roll-up tool holder. Uh, we have a pamphlet here, uh, Tools for Life. Let me get rid of this flap here. All right, looks like uh, Tools for Life, Student Excellence Program, Crank Up Fast, Bold, and Fearless. And it looks like it has some, maybe some deep details, maybe just a uh, sales brochure, probably. All right. Some information get that out of the way all right first we have a uh, tool pouch it looks like we have a drill bit right off the bat in here this is the uh, it's high speed steel 332nd drill bit let's go ahead and we'll check that off the list right off the bat 332nd twist drill bit. Check. Next we'll look at this roll up toolkit here. Snap on logo. Uh, looks like this may be the outside. All right, here we go. Here's the inside. So it's just a basic uh, no frills. It looks like all the tools. Just come in here. I'm gonna fold this over, probably keep them in, and it rolls back up, ties back together. Of course, made in the USA. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pouches and all. All right, and. Excuse me one second, I want to check my my camera here just to make sure we're all, all in focus. Looks like we are. Okay. Sorry for the delay. I'm going to try to keep this to one, one take. All right. So we'll just put this aside here. And that's probably going to be the tool control pouch for... The combo wrenches, I'm guessing. There's a couple different 
control pouches, I believe. Let's go ahead and we'll mark that off later. All right, here we have the paper we're going to get rid of here. All right, so it looks like we have a, a respirator first to look at. Um, Safety Corp SAS Breathe Mate, multi use respirator, R95 rating, so organic vapors. Looks good. Okay. Put that off to the side here. All right. Looks like, oh, this is, looks like a little a compass here. Divider six inch. So that's a six inch divider. I guess I'd call, I called these compasses back in the day, but see, I was confused about, confused about what the divider was. All right. Maybe call me stupid. I don't know. Never heard that way. All right. Looks like a nice, nice quality there, of course. Ah, this looks like the uh, the four inch file set. So here we go. Four inch files. Very nice handles for each one. Good looking files. All right. This comes with its own nice little tool pouch. I got my own four inch set with for Nicholson. I think Nicholson makes some pretty good stuff also. But this looks pretty darn close to the same quality. All right, moving on. Oh, it looks like we have a full tool bag here. All right, let's just, uh, we'll go ahead and take this one out. Out of the bag here. Great, all right, so it's a nice, good size. Snap on here, tool bag, one zip this. All right, looks like we got a shoulder, shoulder pad here, shoulder strap, and also uh, mini tool pouches here around the inside netting netting on the sides and big tool pouches over here and small over here maybe screwdrivers and other small wrenches pliers things of that nature anything else nice plastic feet uh, we do have some pockets in the outside here yep on both sides nothing at the ends so none at the ends there. Nice, looks good. It's similar, very similar to one I have. All right, and that is the tool bag from Snap-on. All right, next. Oh, and here's the list, all right. We've got a tool list here of everything in there. That might make it easier for, to do some inventory checks too. We wanna look here, here we go, here. Maybe I'll take a picture of that to end with, or you can pause if you can read those. All right, put that off to the side. Next we have, oh, this looks like the 12 inch Machina square combination square here. Looks very nice. So it's just the square, it doesn't, doesn't include the other uh, attachments here, just the, 90 degree head with the 45 degree bevel on there also. It's got the level, looks like, on there. And the scribing tool. Very nice, here's the scribing tool. And we have the level. The ruler, as specified, is 32nd, 64th, 1 8th, and 1 16th scales. So, and this is, I guess, a Blue Point brand. I guess uh, they sell that through Snap On. Okay. 
we'll go ahead and I'll put that back in later. All right, moving on. I don't want to bore you too bad here. Make this video an hour. What do we have? ECF 35. Not sure what that is. Oh, it looks like a flashlight. So you're very generic, very light, looks like a military kind of grade, permissible electric flashlight, tested in methane air mixtures only, made by Fulton, made in the U.S. Hmm. That is a halogen, halogen light. Not an LED. MX992 slash U is the part number, if you can see that. All right. I may not be using this flashlight, but we'll see. Oh, it comes with, with uh, different uh, lens combinations that fell all over. Looks like a purple, blue lens, diffused lens. Of course, the red and maybe a white cover of some sort. And of course, it comes with the clear on it. All right, very nice. Looks like it uses D batteries, maybe two, three D batteries, probably two. All right, moving on, moving on. Oh, this must be the uh, eight ounce ball peen hammer. Also by Blue Point. Nice wood handle. Very nice. Okay. All right. There we go. Now well, here's our snap on uh, 16 ounce, I believe. Yep, 16 ounce. HBPT 16 snap on double ended plastic head. Looks good. All right, looks like we have some snap-on safety glasses here. Let's tear into those. Very nice. Cool looking little glasses. Yeah, very stylish. Maybe you'll see me wearing those later. Caught my own, but these are pretty snazzy. Very nice. Not too much coverage, a little side coverage there, but yeah, I guess you only need so much coverage. Well, let me put those back in the bag in a little bit. Ah, okay, here's another uh, roll up tool holder. This may be for the combo wrenches, maybe for drill bits also. It's probably for the drill bits. Uh, they wanted a control pouch in the kit for all the numbered and lettered drill bits. That could be it. Pull up, it's also a tie up. All right, great. All right, here are the earmuffs. Also from Blue Point, 25 decibel reduction rating. They're common earmuffs. I have the 3M uh, WorkTunes earmuffs, which I like with the Bluetooth. They're very good quality, so I may be using those. Um, these look pretty decent too. On the low end, it looks like, but hey. All right, here we go. It's a nice uh, looking hacksaw. HSG 319 snap-on hacksaw, 12 inch by 24 tooth, very nice. Let's put this over here. Next we have, this is, yep, this is the bigger file set with the 10 inch files in them. Just open that up here. And this is the part number. 
All right, it's like a nice, nice pouch. I also have these in the Nicholson, but these are very nice too. Here's the snap-on number there, made in the U.S. Very nice handles. Good handles on those. Wow, that's a lot better than the uh, Nicholson there. In terms of grip and feel. Very nice. Made in Portugal. Cool. Very nice. And that's probably the yeah, we're going to have the the 10 inch. Yeah, those are all going to be 10 inch. We also have a 6 inch probably here floating around. Oh, here's a snap on. Here's our tape measure. Aluminum case tape measure. Looks like we got our 16th or 8th scale and 16th scale at the first foot. also told at the orientation today you have three days they want you to check your inventory of tools make sure everything's in here in the first three days I guess where they start getting a little complaining oh this looks like the uh, mirror collapsible mirror looking around all sorts of all sorts of directions and angles I would say maybe that's two feet extendable I don't know, the mirror might be two inches around. Two inch uh, diameter there. All right. How that went back in, but we'll figure it out later. All right. Here's our spare blades for the hacksaw. This is our double point scribe tool. This is also from Blue Point. All right, that looks nice. Making sure my microphone is still on, it is. Okay, next we have here is some tools, hand tools of a screwdriver, Phillips head, number two, yep, and the five sixteenths flathead, small taper at the bottom, screwdriver. Very nice, very nice feel. Uh, the duck bill. I had a question I asked today at orientation about this because it looks like you go online and you can find 50 different variations of this duck bill plier. This one's very thin and narrow with the handles at the bottom here. Very thin tapered head. This is definitely different than the one I got. But he said it didn't really matter too much. He said at least six inches, not more than seven inches long, I guess, duck bill, and just the basic duck bill head. He said this was for a lot of safety wire help. Uh, looks like we have a one fourth combo wrench, and with the 12 point, 12 point heads, fifth, five sixteenths here, open ended. All right. And that pro it's probably because it didn't come in the main kit here we're getting to. All right, coming down to it here. 
bag of goodies. This is our punch set. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. It's like a punch set, and there's our chisel. Half inch chisel, I believe. Yes, yes, it is. I believe it was about six inches long. We have all the rest of our punches here. All right. All snap on. Looks good. I'll run through the sizes. 332nd, 3 316 1 8 inch. It's 1 8 inch with a small point at the end, tapered. Quarter and 532nd. All right. Might as well put those back in the bag. Excellent. Get rid of this bag. Okay. This is going to be a bunch of drill bits. Yeah. They wanted the pouch to control these drill bits also. Uh, I'm not going to. I think I'm going to skip going through all these individually. I'll go and check through those on my own, make sure I have them all here. This is on the checklist, of course, in the AMS kit here. We have all the numbered twist drills, 3, 10, 11, 12, 21, so on and so forth. A couple lettered and the regular fractional drill bits there. That's probably all of those. Okay. Next, have a plier set, three-piece plier set. It says some details on the back. Looks like we have our needle nose. And there are our little combination pliers and our diagonal flush cut pliers. We'll leave those in the packaging there. You know what? No. We'll, we'll take these out. Let's try not to wreak havoc too much just in case need to return anything here. We'll just gently slide these out here. All right, needle nose. Very nice grip, full of oil. Not too, too tough to pull apart. Not too loose either. Very nice little combination plier set here. Oh, three, good. So we got three here. All right, next we have these small flush cut diagonal pliers. Not quite flush cut, but almost. Okay. Looks like we're coming down to the fun here. Three piece aviation snip set. Let's cut some tape here. Very nice. There's your basic, basic snip set. Very basic. I have a set from, I think I got them from Lowe's that look a little bit nicer than these. I mean, they look decent quality, oxide finish, but I believe mine are Linux, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll look later and put those in the description. Hell, I might make a whole other video of the kit I put together. Oh, they look, they look decent. They look all right. Feel good. 
Can't beat him. Maybe can. I don't know. I might use mine. We'll see. All right, so a little continuation on here. Lost my video. Let's go over this guy again. I broke into these combo wrenches. I already cut them open here. 11 piece combination wrench set. It's 3 8 to 1 inch snap on. Yeah, very nice quality. Very good. So, yep, looking good. So it's 3 8 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 11 16 3 quarter, 13 16 7 8 15 16 and 1 inch. All right, so that's it. So I think we're going to go through and we'll put everything back in and do a review. All right, we have the blades here for the hacksaw, 12 inch by 32 teeth blades. Uh, it comes with a 24, so these are a little bit finer of a high speed bimetal blade. All right, the aviation. Uh, snip aviation set we also have the safety glasses the tape measure and the the drill bits the double point scribe the mirror the punch set and chisel and uh, center point punch also was that other one to go with the scribing tool and here's the one quarter and five sixteenths wrench to go with those other combination wrenches and we have the earmuff set uh, the blue point combination square machine is square and we have the duckbill duckbill pliers the flat head and Phillips head screwdriver the roll-ups so that must be for the drill bits and I would guess these are for the combination wrenches. Fold these up here. Let's have a look at that guy. All right, we have our packing list. And we have the file set. 10 inch. It might be a 12 inch, a couple 10 inches, and a 6 inch. Actually, I want to take a look at that when it comes to the files. Thought we had more in there. 10 inch flat file, 10 inch half round. See, these are too flat files. This one is bigger than this one. And tinch half round. We don't have a half round. We have a 10 inch round. I'm guessing this is the looks bigger than that might be the 6 inch. And maybe the 10 inch. And then we have this guy. I don't think this would be considered half round, but that's what we got in here. All right, yeah, just remember it a little different for me, differently from what the list said. Okay, and we have the 16 ounce dual tipped plastic hammer and the pliers combination the diagonal cutters and the 
needle nose, the eight ounce ball peen hander, ham, hammer, wow, with the wood handle. That's probably what I was going for. And we have the hacksaw. And this was what again? Oh, the flashlight. That was the flashlight. And we have the four inch, four inch file set. Okay, now that comes with, yeah, that's coming with the, uh, a flat. There's a half round fine taper, triple side, four side, and round. All right, probably should have went over that the first time. And here we have the six inch divider. And I believe last but not least is, well, no, not last. We have the respirator and last is the tool bag. So that is the AMS general snap-on tool kit. And uh, anything else, uh, well, I'll put in the description. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Of course, we have the checklist and our brochure. Oh, I forgot a 332nd extra drill bit there. Don't know why it wasn't in the bag. I'll have to go through and check all those. Okay, uh, and I will go next up to the advanced toolkit. All right, here we have the advanced toolkit for the AMS program at Embry-Riddle. Daytona campus here. Again, our booklet. We have the advanced toolkit here. Quite a few less tools, well, a little less than the general toolkit. All right, let's break into this. Very nice, there's a snap-on box. Gotta have quality boxes too. All right, got lots of, lots of paper here. Paper, paper. All right. Looks like we're even getting a soldering kit. I didn't expect that for some reason, I don't know why. All right. Let's just let's just dump this whole bag out. Okay. Here we go. Here's our soldering iron kit. 40 watt. Looks like we got a couple tips, one on it, needle point, flat head, some solder. Looks like it comes with a little balancer in there to sit it on. Just a straight plug in. Soldering iron I have is quite a bit more in depth than this one. I might stick with mine. Oh, here's the uh, the flush cut pliers. Yep, cutter oval ultra flush. So then in the general kit we had the diagonal cutters. There's our fellow flyers flying over there. Yeah, these are very nice, made in Spain. Just feel really good, good spring. All right, throw those back in there. What do we have here? You have to break into these. Break into these here. We have the, oh, this is the, I believe the ignition combo wrench set. Yes, with pouch. Very nice. So, 316, 732nd, 1 4th, 
9 32nd, 5 16 11 32 and 3 8 Very nice. 12 point. Open head. All right. Very nice. Next we have the combination sort of crescent wrench here. Very nice. So this would be the, yeah, the 10 inch crescent wrench on the list. Very nice quality. This looks like the hex key Allen set. I'm curious about what the case and everything looks like here. Nice metal case. Metal tin. Looks like a hanger over here. How do we get into this guy? Looks like. Uh, looks like that is how we open it from the top side down. Okay. Three eighths. 5 sixteenths, a quarter, 7 32nd, 3 sixteenths, 5 32nd, 9 64th, 1 8th, 7 64th, 3 32nd, 5 64th, 1 16th, 3 64th, 0 0.035, point zero two eight. Very nice, just your normal short little set. Okay. Next we have the wire strippers. And these are blue point. Part number PWC9. So, blue point got the 20 through 10 gauge wire. I believe that 20 you can also use a 22 wire in also. In in the list they want it up to a for 14 to 22. So this is 10 to 20. So that'll probably suffice. It's got a little clawed in crimpers. And it looks like a measure tool for the different head sizes and threads. Little wire length and splice terminal gauge on the back. Very nice feeling. And this is our magnetic pickup tool. Just a little I guess I got a little elaborate with mine that I bought. I bought a couple because I wasn't sure. And this is just a very small kind of generic pickup tool. So what do we have here in the list? Flexible magnetic pickup tool. That's all we needed. Yeah, it's flexible. I was thinking flexible as in flexible neck and everything. So mine's really big and really long and well, I went overboard on it. Oh well. Next we have, oh, the tapered thickness gauges. At least they wanted, uh, they wanted the tapered. I'm sure this is going to be tapered. All right. Yep, many, many different sizes. 0.25 inch, 0 0.025 inch. That's the bigger one, and the next bigger one to hold all of the flimsies in. All the way to 15 thousandths of an inch hitting all of them
All right, that's a nice one. Got to remember to keep everybody in the view of the camera here. I'm getting a little bit out. All right. Next we have the Torx tool. I believe this is T20 is what they wanted. Yep, T20. Torx bit or screwdriver. So this would be considered the screwdriver. Next we have the uh, socket organizers. This is for the uh, 3 8 and this is for the quarter inch. These are the socket organizers. Of course we have the checklist here. Definitely need to go through that guy again. Last but not least, here's all of our wrenches. All of our extensions, sockets. All right. Here we have our Snap-on 7-8s. Deep well socket for spark plugs. Mm, looking at the sh I don't see it right off the bat. Oh, 3 8 inch drive. Um, half inch deep well spark plug socket 6 point. This is. Seven eights. Hmm. We'll have to we'll have to inquire about that one. If that's right or not. All right. Well, let's go straight to the. Here's our quarter inch straight drive. Six inch. Uh, oh. Quarter inch drive long shank driver. Okay. Yep. That's what that would be. And here's the flexible head. Three eighths inch drive flex handle. We have the three eighths inch extensions. Everything's snap on, of course. And we have the quarter inch extension. Oh, and here's a short extension, three eighths. Here's the small quarter inch wrench combination here. And here's the flexible handle wrench. And here's our wrench, ratcheting wrench for three eighths on off trigger. All right, all the sockets. Oh boy, all the sockets. Should I dare go into them? What is this guy? These look like. Oh, those are the universal joint. Well, the extension pieces converts it from one to the other. Forgetting the word right now. Uh, looks like it goes from half inch to three eighths. And then this would be three eighths to one quarter. Doesn't really say it on there, but they are snap on there. Okay. And then here's the universal joint. The universal joint for the quarter. And
I believe they also wanted a universal joint for three eighths. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just the universal joint for the quarter. All right, here we go. That's what that is. All right, here we go. Seven eighths, eleven sixteenths, thirteen sixteenths, and three quarter, five eighths, nine sixteenths, and here is another. Adapter, that's the word I was looking for, adapter. Looks like 3 8 to half inch adapter. The others were black oxide. Uh, these are these were 3 8 inch drive. These are a quarter inch drive now. This is 3 8 still. 9 16 oh, A couple more. 7 16 Half inch. And seven sixteenths. All the rest of these are the quarter inch drive. Yep, oh, here's another adapter. Goes from quarter inch to three eighths. All right, so up oh, one more three eighths drive, and this is three eighths twelve point. Oh, we have do have a couple six point here, six point, six point, six point, and the rest of them are twelve point. So looking at the three eighths inch drive, yes, it looks like they wanted three six point sockets, and all of the rest twelve points. So we'll check to make sure that those are the right six point. <coughs> All right, and these quarter inch, looks like they're all 12 point. <coughs> yep, 12 point drive socket set, quarter inch to 9 sixteenths. So we have 9 30 second, 9 sixteenths, half inch, 7 sixteenths, 3 eighths, 11 30 second, 5 sixteenths, and quarter inch. All right, so two adapters are black oxide finish, and then two of them are the uh, chrome finish. So we'll leave those, leave those in their pouch. We'll throw these all back in. Looks like that's it for the advanced toolkit now. So we'll go and review of that again. Here's our sheet. We'll put that in last. It's our crescent wrench, our 10 inch crescent wrench, the 3 8 inch extensions, the quarter inch universal socket, the quarter inch drive handle. And these are the the two ratcheting wrenches, the three eighths and quarter. Here's the flexible quarter with an extension for the quarter. Here's the flexible handle for the three eighths. Our socket organizers, our wire stripper, our magnetic pickup tool. It's not extendable at all. Just, I guess, for any little place. Our tapered leaf gauge, thickness gauge. Here's our 7 8 inch deep well drive socket 6 point, which on our list we have as half inch. So I would say if it was a half inch drive, it would make more sense, but this is a 3 8 inch drive. So our size, I'm not sure if that's right. We'll have to check into that. And we come down to, what was this? Oh, the ignition wrench set again. And flush cut. 
pliers, cutters. It's nice. And our Allen hex key wrench set. There are T20 Torx handle screwdriver and our 40 watt soldering kit iron. So here you have it. That's it for the snap on advanced tool kit received from the Union Student Union Center at the bookstore at Daytona Beach campus. Anything else I'll put in the description, uh, maybe including the actual toolkit list. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention here's the AMS 116 tool list. Uh, the calculator definitely can be picked up in the um, bookstore. I have that on hand, not with me at this second. The electronics kit I've seen there and the um, multimeter. I just got an email today from them and this of course is going to could change in the future but they are discontinuing uh, holding the digital multimeters that the, is in the class description. I think they had 15 left in stock and they said that was it. They're not supplying it anymore but any digital multimeter with 50,000 ohm uh, volt DC 10,000 ohm volt AC capacity will do. Uh, they did include a list in the email. Uh, you know what? I'll put that in the description. Uh, they they included from Lowe's, Home Depot, and Harbor Freight a list of the digital meters that you could pick up. Uh, probably the more expensive, the better you're going to get. Uh, I have a Greenlee uh, multimeter that's that's very up there, very good multimeter. Um, but uh, you don't have to spend too much money to get a decent one. Even Harbor Freight is on the list. So there you go. All right. I believe that's about it for now. Thank you. I'll be uh, updating you soon on how it's going. Thanks.